Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a quick lash haul. The reason I'm doing this haul is because a few weeks ago now, it was quite a while ago now, I've been really slack on this, but I went to a lush event. It was New Zealand's first ever um, beauty bloggers event. And basically we got goodie bags of their best sellers and then we also got to pick three products that we would like to try out. So I ended up with quite a nice little bunch of stuff here and so many, so, so, so many of you when I like posted a picture on Instagram asked me to do a haul. Um, so I'm doing that today. I'm going to talk a little bit about each product, what it's for, what it smells like, and all that kind of thing. I used to be really intimidated by Lush. I thought there was so much stuff. I was so confused. It seemed really expensive, and I just had no idea about it all. So I think if you were in the same position as I used to be, then this video will probably help you. First of all, I'll address the price. The price is a little bit more than some other brands, but you're paying a little bit more because it is basically everything is handmade really really fresh everything has like a little label on it when it was made and when you should use it by um, so that's one of the reasons because obviously it's not something they can just mass 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 produce <laughs> they can't just like make heaps of it and then you know put heaps of preservatives in it and stuff like that they're against that so natural cruelty free uh, I think a lot of this stuff's vegan so all that kind of stuff put together it makes it a little bit more expensive I think it's worth it like some of it um I'm just gonna talk about it okay I'm just gonna stop later okay so the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually a mask when we were there and I'll link down below my vlog because I did vlog everything at the event and you can actually see this happening but we got to make a mud mask and I can't remember what this one's called but it's like the chocolate one it smells really really good I haven't tried it yet because apparently it's for more oily skin and I don't have oily skin but I might just try it out anyway so yeah we got to make our own mud mask um that was a bit of fun now moving on to the actual products okay so the things they gave me the first thing was the bubblegum lip scrub and this is really 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 popular it's one of their best sellers i think it also says my boy lollipop on it i don't really know what that's about looks like that and it's basically sugar smells like bubblegum like oh, so good and you just take some rub it on your lips and then you can literally just like lick it off which the idea of that used to gross me out. I was like, oh, that's like your dead skin, but I do it anyway because it tastes really good. So I actually really, really do enjoy this. This one here actually lasts a really long time. It lasts over a year. So, I mean, this one is really good value for money, and I think it's quite cheap. If you get really dry lips or, you know, cracked lips, dead skin, try that out because literally in the morning you can just rub it on and then follow up with a lip balm and your lips will be the smoothest. Ever. Next we got one of their best seller soaps. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. It started like pissing down. I hate the rain. Like it's the worst thing ever. But I'm going to open this up for you. This is the Honey I Wash the Kids Soap. Mouth watering honey soap for washing you, the kids, the dog, and the granny. Can you actually use this to wash your dog? That would be interesting. Okay, so I collect Lush soaps kind of because you can put them in your room and it makes your whole room smell really good. But I'm actually going to put this in the shower because I love this soap. I have bought it before. It's really cool. It looks like honeycomb on the outside. It smells just like really, really intense honey. And I adore honey. I just, I love honey so much. It smells great. It tastes great. It's just everything to me. It smells amazing. I really do enjoy their soaps. I feel very clean after I use it. The next thing they gave us was Dream Cream. It's hand and body lotion, so you can basically use this like all over your body as a moisturizer. It says it's their number one Lush product. Soothing and cooling cream that is designed to go on even the most sensitive and easily upset skin. So the top three ingredients in this are oat milk, rose water, and organic extra virgin olive oil. So really moisturizing products, and oh my goodness, it smells really, really good. Like... Oh, it smells a little bit like rose, I would say, which probably comes down to the rose water, but yeah, I really, really like this. Next, they gave us Ultra Bland, the most thorough of all cleansers. I haven't tried this yet. Basically, it says it removes all in its path, so it leaves you completely clean. It says it leaves your skin ultra soft and ultra smooth, and I saw people writing on my Facebook page that it's really good for removing even, like, waterproof makeup and stuff. Okay, it smells very basic. It doesn't have any, like, strong scent, and then it's just, like, a creamy product. I'm really excited to try this out because the other cleanser they gave us is this one here and it's called Angels on Bare Skin and I have used this maybe five times. I think it does a really really good job. The only thing is I'm one of those kinds of people that really likes to have soft skin after I cleanse. I don't like feeling squeaky clean, like really squeaky squeaky clean 
and this one definitely makes you feel very squeaky clean. It says on here is gentle as being kissed by angels, the age old formula that uses the best effective ingredients. But basically it comes like this, it looks really weird and it's kind of like a clay formula and you basically just like take out like a pea size and then kind of massage it, massage in your skin, add water and massage it in. And it just cleanses your skin and it did make my skin feel really really nice but as I said just a little bit too clean for me like I like to still have a few oil, not oils on my face but just have smoothness to my face and not feel tight. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. And then the last thing they gave us was the Comforter Bubble Bar. And I will open this and show you what it looks like. Bubble bars are basically a bar of bubbles. Like not literally bubbles. But you snap off like a piece of this or if you want to you can use like the entire thing. But you, oh my god, oh my god this smells amazing. Anyway, you basically break off a bit and then put it in your bath and it will like put bubbles everywhere. I don't have a bath, it is the worst thing ever because I love bubble bars so much. So oh, I think I'll just keep this in my room because it smells phenomenal it smells like jelly tip ice cream and it's really really pretty their bubble bars are like adorable they have so many cute ones and then the other three products are things i chose out so we basically walked around the store and like we just had all the stuff that was so lovely the staff at queen street are just so nice anyways they just kind of like put it on us put masks on us massage stuff into our skin and you know just just showed us how amazing their products are. So the three things I chose. The first thing I got was because my flatmate was talking about it and I was like I need to try it because it's boob cream. Well it's intended for your breasts. It's called the Lovely Jubblies Breast Cream. So it says to get your own fabulous pair of Lovely Jubblies smooth this firming floral lotion onto your dead I can't say the word. Neck and chest area. Depending on how blessed you are, you might need two pots. But anyway, it's just meant to like firm your skin and I just was intrigued. And obviously you don't have to just use this on your titties. You can use this like anywhere on your body at all. But yeah, it smells really, really, really delicious. And I will definitely be trying this out on my boobies and seeing if my skin looks great and my boobs look great. You guys know the only reason I wanted to try it was because it was boob cream though. Like really. And then I also got Turkish Delight Shower Smoothie. Come up smelling of roses when you use this rich soft soap. We've captured a whole Turkish rose filled in this pot. I think this was the thing they were saying. There's like 50,000 rose petals or something like that in one pot of it which was crazy. A soft blend of soap packed full of extra moisturizing cocoa butter and almond oil to leave your body clean, smooth and nourished. So basically what that means is you pretty much use it like a body soap but after you rinse it off you're kind of left feeling moisturized. So it basically eliminates the need of using a extra moisturizer like after you get out of the shower which is perfect because I hate moisturizing my body especially in winter you guys know like in winter you don't want to be like standing around waiting for your moisturizer to sink in after you've had a hot shower it's just the most awful thing ever so this kind of thing here you put it on rinse it off and you're moisturized you know obviously I do my empties videos so as soon as I finish stuff I'll report back and do like a full review and then the last thing here is called Big Buffy and I'm super super I was gonna say super <laughs> like a pun. Super excited about this. Um, the lovely girls there were using it on my arms and showing me how like nice and you know like not scrubby scrubby but just gentle exfoliating. It comes in a big bar like this and it's just got all these really gentle kind of exfoliant bits in it. Cocoa butter, shea butter, ground rice, ground almonds, ground beans and then just the oils and perfumes. It's basically like natural exfoliating and I just think it's so easy. It smells really good and you just like rub it on and it's moisturizing. So it's kind of like the purpose of the last one. You can scrub this on your body and be left feeling really smooth once you get out of the shower so it eliminates an extra step. I'm so excited to use this and I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes. I'm really, 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 I haven't used it yet because I didn't want to get it all like ugly for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, one more thing I want to tell you that I thought was really cool. So they don't do any animal testing. So they don't test any of this stuff on animals. Obviously you know what animal testing is. But what's also really cool is none of their products so, wait on, let me rephrase. They have suppliers, you know, they have certain suppliers um, that give them each ingredient. That supplier is not allowed to test any of their ingredients on animals. So even if they stock like this one thing for Lush and then they stock all these other things for other companies, none of those, like none of those companies can test on animals. Like none of those ingredients can be tested on animals, otherwise Lush won't 
go to them. And that's another reason why it's a little bit more expensive because obviously that would make their suppliers very limited. Just a fun fact. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know heaps of people love Lush so I thought some of you would find this helpful and then some of you will not actually care at all because I never used to because I just didn't understand Lush but no I'm definitely a converted fan now. I do really like some of this stuff. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you did enjoy this haul please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much and I will talk to you really really soon. Bye! Like vlog through here. Nights and, and stuff like that. So please just just let us know if there's anything that you'd like to see us do in the future or any image. Actually, do is just talk you guys through.